Hello, I'm Paul Ludlow. This year began with the fantastic launch when Gary Barlow became our P&O Cruises brand ambassador. Since then, I think it's fair to say that things haven't quite gone to plan. It's been a challenging year for you and it's been a challenging year for us. None of us could have ever envisaged how this year evolved and no one could have foreseen the dramatic effects that coronavirus would have on all of our lives or for how long it would last. As always, our first priority was to look after our guests and crew and thankfully we managed to repatriate all of our crew so they could get home to their loved ones. Since our initial pause in operations in March, we have processed thousands of future cruise credits, showing just how many of you are looking forward to cruising with us again. We've also taken our ships to safe harbour on the south coast. I'd like to personally thank the port authorities in Southampton and the southwest for all of their help with this. The thing I was most looking forward to this year was, of course, the launch of our new ship, Iona, but sadly, it wasn't possible. Iona really is stunning and offers even more ways for our guests to have the most wonderful holiday. There is the world's first gin distiller at sea, so many new dining concepts and wide open decks for relaxation. I'm confident that all of our ships as well as Iona will be sailing next year and the build of her sister ship, which will be delivered in 2022, will also be well underway. I know that so many of you are longing to get back to holidaying with us. We are too. This year has shown us just how precious holidays are and how much we have missed that total relaxation in the sun away from our daily routine. Friends and family are everything and with our newly enhanced health protocols, some good news for you coming from us very soon and of course a vaccine now here, next year is looking so much brighter. Let the planning begin. We have a huge team, both on board and on shore, working so hard to navigate the different challenges to get our ships ready to return to what they do best. Giving you the holiday of a lifetime, every time, with wonderful memories. I cannot tell you how much your support, messages and good wishes this year have meant to me, to my colleagues and to our crew members. It kept us going through the hardest of times, so thank you. It meant the world to us and we cannot wait to see you on board. On behalf of all of us at p Cruises, I'd like to wish you a very happy Christmas. And never have the words Happy New Year meant so much. Here's to 2021. And let's begin the celebration with some top festive tips from our p Cruises food heroes. I'm going to hand over to them and look forward to seeing you in 2021. Many, many years ago, when I first started in the industry, I got a job at the Box Tree in Ilkley in West Yorkshire, which was one of only four restaurants to have two stars in Michelin. And my first job was to plate the smoked salmon. And on the menu, it just simply said, funniest quality wild Scottish smoked salmon, properly garnished. And that's what I'm going to do for you today. The first thing you do is wallpaper the plate with smoked salmon, very simply. And now what we do, just slide your knife around the edge of the plate. And with the trim, there's many dishes you can do with it. But one of the nicest ways, the most delicious ways, is to have it with scrambled eggs. So there's our plate of smoked salmon. What we do is, we take our capers and just sprinkle them lightly. A little bit of gherkin or cornichon, a few shallots. Then, what we do is just take a tiny bit of parsley and just a little diced egg. All those years ago at the box, as a young boy, it's exactly how I was taught to do it. And there we have it. Smoked salmon, properly garnished. Croquetas, normally we do in Spain with the leftover. And I want to cook for you a jamón and turkey. It's very easy and you are gonna just love it. Very simple, you just need to heat a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and then chop some leeks, and then when it's ready cooked, you can add some jamón and turkey. When it's cooked, you need to add the flour. Then add into the mix milk and the stock. You need to use a nutmeg and black pepper. And when the bechamel is ready, put in a tray and leave to cool down, and you will get something like this. 
The best thing to do is put some olive oil in your hands uh, and then just roll it like that. It smells absolutely gorgeous. What you need to do now is just put them in some plain flour, all of them, and then when it's ready, them into the egg and then to the breadcrumb. And now, look at this, beautiful, beautiful croquetas. We are gonna leave to cool down in the fridge for around two hours, and they are gonna be just ready to fry. Just drop in the hot oil. They are lovely and golden. And this is what we are looking for. Golden, crispy outside, and gorgeous and silky inside. Beautiful jamón and turkey croquetas. Amigos, to 2021, Feliz Navidad. I love everything about Christmas. The decoration, the build-up, and of course, the food. When it's time for pudding, this is when my eggnog trifle appear on the table. So first of all, I picked a beautiful glass. I'm gonna put two amaretto biscuits on each glass. Here, I've got a good quality compote. I'm just gonna add a good dollop. I've got some fresh berries, and I let them to macerate a little bit in Grand Marnier here, orange liquor. You can use a brandy if you want, anything boozy will do. And now for the endogen part of this dessert. Here I've got some lovely creamy mascarpone cheese, which I whipped lightly with some icing sugar. So it's nice and sweet. I'm just gonna spray that on the top. So here I've got a traditional custard and I'm gonna add to it a general glug or glog of advocate into it and then spoon it on the top and of course a little bit of festive snow and there we go a beauty in a glass enjoy and have a lovely lovely christmas and a very happy new year